The class is my seminar on life at the end of life. It's a religious studies seminar here at Rice. And the, who's coming to perform, amazingly, Grammy award-winning artists from Silk Road Ensemble out of Boston. And so we're very excited. The class is a seminar that looks at different um, interpretations of the end of life from a variety of disciplinary perspectives, everything from biomedicine and bioethics through philosophy, history, art history, and religious studies. You're, you're looking for a human approach and valuing human interaction and stories, and that's very much what we try to do at Silk Road through um, an art and performance and dance and visual art lens. When my grandfather became very old, an active man once, now when he moved a limb, it would move very slowly and deliberately, trying to reach and grasp for things. In med school, they are not necessarily trained in palliative care or end-of-life care, and so it's very brave of them to take on such a difficult, potentially emotionally freighted, and intellectually contentious topic. Every piece I did, I started looking for that aspect of death in that piece, not for mourning particularly, but to understand life better. The class is focused on death, and I think the issue of morality is something that's really important. A lot of times medicine focuses on prolonging life rather than also making sure that the quality of life is maintained. I think death is a subjective experience, similar to life. So I wanted to understand what are the nuances and kind of more of the humanities perspective. I definitely am in labs all the time, don't get me wrong, but um, yeah, I actually when I came to Rice, the medical humanities minor wasn't established yet. It was new, um, like the second year I was here. Um, and as soon as I heard of it, I knew that like I wanted to do it because it provided insight on a bunch of questions that I've had about medicine for a long time. You know, like yeah, how does religion come into play? How does death get talked about? How do you tell bad news to patients? And you know, those sort of topics that are not you can't really teach in a scientific like lecture hall. Um.